Hi and thank you for choosing Card Studio 2.0. This video tutorial explains more about using placeholders for dynamic data like an ID photo, signature or a dynamic logo. To personalize a card, you can add a placeholder for an ID photo that is automatically linked to the cardholder's ID photos in your Print Studio project. Click on the ID photo tool and click on the front of the card. Resize the ID photo element to your liking. You can add a border to frame the photo. Go to Element Properties. Click on the Style tab and change the border thickness. A signature placeholder can also be added to your card design. The signature placeholder is also linked to the cardholder's signatures in your Print Studio project. Click on the Signature tool and then click on the front side of the card. The placeholder shows a dummy signature. Next to offering a placeholder for an ID photo and signature, it is also possible to add a dynamic logo to your card design. A dynamic logo can be used when the card design is the same, but an image on the design needs to change depending on the data in a project. For example, an image on the card design needs to represent the flag of the country a cardholder is from, and in your project data, there are cardholders from four different countries. Click on the Dynamic Logo tool, click on the card in the canvas, and go to the first tab of the Element Properties. Select the dynamic field representing the needed data for the dynamic logo. Keep the aspect ratio and keep the interpolation mode set to default. Now add the dynamic logos. The images need to represent four countries, so add four images. Click on this button to select the flag images. To get the correct flag to appear with the correct cardholder's country, add the associated value. This value needs to be the exact value corresponding with the data in the project. We will add USA, Canada, UK and Netherlands. After creating a complete card design, it is time to add your new card design to your project. Do not forget to save the card design.